I'm Stephen Pockbaz. I'm a mechanical engineer at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And when I'm not designing real spacecraft, I design Lego spacecraft. And here you can see uh, uh, most of my models. I'm probably best well known for my Curiosity rover model, which became the fifth Kuso set uh, back in 2014 when it got uh, all the 10,000 votes and got approved, went through the review process and approved by Lego. And that was right around the middle of the the Curiosity rover's prime mission. And uh, a few of my other spacecraft include the, the Juno spacecraft, which uh, entered into orbit around Jupiter last year. And it's also a spacecraft that has three passengers on board in the form of three tiny Lego figures that are made out of aluminum. The figures themselves are of uh, Galileo, Jupiter, the god, and his wife Juno, who the spacecraft is named after. And Jupiter is my favorite planet, so I love any spacecraft that goes to visit out there, including my favorite spacecraft of all time, the Voyager 2, that did the grand tour of the outer solar system. And at JPL, we have a full-scale model in one of the auditoriums, so I use that as reference to get every last little uh, thruster and actuator and instrument as accurate as I could at this scale. And it includes a little uh, 1970s uh, engineer for scale. He includes his pocket protector, coffee cup. But I, I left out the cigarette. You know, don't want to have a bad influence on kids. Uh, let's see. Some, I've also looked a little bit into commercial spacecraft. For, for a few years, I worked at a place called Orbital ATK on the East Coast. And they do stuff like uh, make rockets that launch from the bottom of aircraft and put small satellites into orbit. And they also have the Cygnus, which delivers cargo to the International Space Station. And one of their competitors is SpaceX, who also does the same thing, and they'll soon be sending astronauts up there. And while I was away from JPL, some of my coworkers worked on a, a spacecraft called SMAP which stands for Soil Moisture Active Passive, and basically it measures the, the ground moisture over the entire Earth with this rotating uh, radar assembly. And launching next year is a spacecraft called TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, and it'll orbit around Earth and look for exoplanets around other stars, so I'm very excited for that one to launch. And. I also have a few things that aren't actual real spacecraft, but science fiction related that I have fun with. I'm a big fan of Transformers, so one of my most recent models is a, a Transformer I made up that I called Peace Out. So basically he was like some sort of Autobot civilian scientist, crash landed on Earth in 1968 in San Francisco, encountered hippies, adopted their ways, and lived and went on to live a peaceful life instead of joining in any of the, the wars between Autobots and Decepticons. And it took quite a while to figure out how to get the transformation just right.
So this has been uh, the majority of my models I had here at uh, Bricks by the Bay in 2017. This is my first time attending Bricks by the Bay and I had a lot of fun uh, displaying my models, hanging out with friends, meeting new people. And if you're interested in seeing any more of my models, you can go to my Flickr page and search for my username, which is uh, Apojove. A-P-O-J-O-V-E.